Hello everybody and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today we're going to be farming lead and for that I find myself in excavator power armor. I know I'm using power armor. This is probably the only time I do is to use the excavator for its mining bonuses. And today we have a vampire shish kebab. Um, melee and power armor sucks. I don't advise it. Uh, we are not doing anything particularly difficult so we're going to stay focused on what we're here for. And that's about it. So if first thing we're going to do is pop over here to uh, Horn Right Testing Site number three. I go here for a little bit of extra lead because there's some quick lead deposits. For myself, I'm doing a more comprehensive guide right now, so I'm going to show you, uh, of course, the famous Lucky Hole Mine, which everybody's aware of. But we're going to go do a run through that. But this is my favorite place for lead. Um, because it's really quick. Uh, I'll put on excavator power armor and I'll just grab up the lead from here. There's a few veins and again you can hit them a couple times. I'm actually going to go back and just refine this load by itself. Now one of these is a bit hard to hit but if you come down at the right angle, you got to play around with it a little bit, you can find a spot to hit it. So that's it. Done. We found some lead. So I'm going to go back and process this, and we'll just see how much we get from that spot alone, and then I'll take you to Lucky Hole Mine. There's a couple uh, uh, reserve locations as well that have some more. Okay, now that we're back, I don't have a jetpack. Excavator power armor with jetpack. Am I, am I right? Okay, so we're going to disembark, scoop up the power armor, and we're gonna swap over two perks. Actually, one perk. We're just gonna switch ricochet for super duper. So if we go to a chemistry station, we can refine this. Oop. We're going to refine this by doing this. So we got 72 lead ore just for that. So we can do 36 refines. That will give us a total item junk with super duper of 230 lead scrap. So again, if you just need some quick lead, if you want to make some ammo, that's a pretty quick way to do it. Um, currently, uh, lead scrap for me... A bulk lead scrap sells for uh, 65 caps. Uh, and how many in a bulk? 15 in a bulk, if I'm not mistaken. So we get uh, 20 in a bulk. So 20 selling for 65. Be 65 divided by 20. Each one's worth 3.2 caps, and we got 250. So that was a very quick 812, um, 812 caps. So let's deposit this and we'll clear our bags of any remaining lead and we're going to do lucky hole mine as well. So misc, uh, sort by weight. Okay, I don't have anything left over. So we're going to take our power armor and get into it. Where are we here? Excavator one. I like the principle of power armor. I really like it. I didn't like how... I don't like how you couldn't have a legendary version because unyielding is 
such a god tier property that not having legendary power armor sucked, but they're fixing that. And the second thing is literally the only upgrades you can get for arms for power armor are to improve your unarmed damage. And you can't equip unarmed weapons. Like, you have three arm mods for improving unarmed attacks, and you can't make unarmed attacks in power armor. I mean, you can take your weapon off and make totally unarmed attacks, but they do, like, three damage. Like, it's not a... You, you cannot use that in any way, shape, or form. So, I'm frustrated that they haven't addressed power armor mods because they're, they're shit. Um, and, you know, they're doing power armor crafting, legendary crafting, which is cool, but the mods are still rubbish. Ooh! Legendary... I think. So we're gonna. So I do have a mod for the helmet that highlights enemies. So if you see that uh, reddish glow, that's for that. I find visual aids for highlighting enemies very useful, like Barry Mentats and stuff. Uh, the truth is my eyesight is not particularly great, and I need glasses, which I'm not getting because, you know, I would be admitting that my eyesight isn't good. So having visual aids to highlight enemies is, is very worthwhile for me. Okay, yeah, 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 I'll get that. Okay, I'm not here for the junk. We're moving on, we're going inside. Oh, look at those crushed yellow containers. We don't need them. Use oil can. The oil. Okay, we're moving on. I just can't help myself with junk. Okay, so Lucky Hole Mine is a great place to get crystal and lead. Um, and after one wasteland, they made this a uh, cultist hub. Um, so we're also going to grab a few other things while we're here, like... Uh, scissors, just take a quick loop around here. If you need a mining helmet for any reason, mining helmets are nice because they'll change your pit boy light into a basically a headlight which just changes the effect of it there's typically a lot in here there's different colored ones as well so you'll find a variety of them here if you need bone for any reason those are good for that I'm focusing on the lead so they will be deposits in the wall And there is some in here. Sort of a hidden piece. So I won't, this is normally locked and you need a key for it. I won't go down there right away. We'll take the long way through. So see on these more refined walls here, they don't tend to be on there. They tend to be in these types of sort of rougher tunnels. So cultists are nice because they drop weapons and they drop stim packs. So I'm going to grab the weapons because there's a crafting bench in here and we can scrap them all. So we're going to pick up some extra steel scrap while we're doing this. I mean, most people are here for lead for crafting ammo, so, you know, extra steel doesn't hurt anybody. So we're going to grab guns and bullets. Sort of a when in Rome kind of thing. So that's lead. Now these types of veins, you can sometimes click on them once, sometimes you can click on them multiple times. It's random. Um, and we're going to get four ore every time. So don't click on it once and walk away thinking you got it all. Make sure you actually spam it. Now lead has this sort of dullish gray color to it. The crystal here will be black. Now sometimes without a flashlight, uh, these will appear black over gray. But you'll see the crystal. It'll be blacker. So we have more here. And always take a peek in the corners. So nothing in that pile. This room here has quite a bit. So 
So we're just gonna keep making our way through past the cultist shrine here. So you see, the, the reason why I hit that other spot first most commonly, like, again, I don't come down here often because I'll pick up lead from that spot. Again, if you grab your lead every day from there, that's 800 caps a day for something that takes you, you know, a minute or two to do. It's it's not very long. Even getting into this mine alone takes longer than, than looting that. So while we can get a, a, a total higher amount from here, again, if you're looking for fast caps, um, you know, 250 lead is, is not bad for the encounter that we did there. That, that small excursion. So once we get into it further, there's going to be a lot of branching paths and stuff. Um, even if you miss some of the lead, you still do get ultimately a lot from here, so don't be too uh, discouraged if you don't get it all. So another good reason to loot the enemies is if there's enemies down a path, um, you know you haven't been down it. The nice thing about being in power armor is you don't really have to worry about enemies because the armor is ridiculous. They also have like a baseline 30% damage reduction on top of the armor as well. Um, it's very frustrating to play not in power armor and just to see how much just a basic power armor frame gives you as far as damage reduction and, and armor. Like, this is honestly one of the easiest power armors to get into because the quest gives you all the plans for it. And whilst you have to farm the ingredients for it, like the excavator power armor is something that will take you through the entire game. If you wish to play a heavy armor build, honestly, there's nothing you can't do in this power armor set. So I'm just showing you the crystal here. Um, if I'm doing this for myself, I don't farm the crystal because crystal's not worth refining. But if you need crystal for any reason and you do wish to spend the exorbitant amount of acid to refine it, I mean, there is an option for you. I mean, if you're all out of crystal, I suppose. But it just costs so much lead to refine. Yeah, as we start getting closer to the back, so these are the crystal ones, they're black, black. Now, lead will be more of this uh, sort of silvery dark gray. I mean, it's hard to tell the difference between that black and the silvery gray, just... Let's all crystal. So remember, we're coming over here to a main worshipping chamber. Um, I grabbed those cultist blades for scrap. So we're going to put on scrapper and uh, grind all this up into more loot later. Yeah, there's a footlocker there that typically requires a miner's key of some kind. And I don't remember there being any ore around here. Sorry, it's been a few months since I've come here. I've been selling, uh, as I've been, I've been trying to buy every plant in the game, and I've been posting quite a lot of junk on my store to sell through all that, which is great, because, again, I'm making thousands of caps a day. Um, you know, if, if things are going well in a full day, you know, eight hours of playing, I might make 20, 30, 40,000 caps in junk sales alone. People buy metals, they buy copper, aluminum, and lead. Um, almost as fast as you can put it up. Steel is also very underrated. Uh, while you can't sell steel for as much, uh, as, as often as I put steel up, as often as I put steel up, I will sell it. Um, it, it sells quite readily um, for typically about, again, 35% of its value. Uh, I don't have the combination for here. There's just some crystal in there, so I'm not going to spend time looking it up right now. So we're going to go back through that tunnel in reverse fashion. Just wanted to make sure I was at the head of it. Yeah, that's where the door goes. One of the doors go. So 
So most of this tunnel's crystal, but I'll head back through just to double check. There's another hidden path. Uh, there's a hidden path off the main chamber that we're going to go to as well. So I typically clear this hall first. Going through it once. And then back through. There's a few pieces of lead here. And again, don't be afraid to look behind you because with Bethesda, there's always something around the corner. They so thoroughly encourage exploration that it's always worth taking a peek. So where's the main chamber? Yes, yeah, so the main chamber is here. So if we come back through here, this was that pathway. The main path is off here, which goes to that gated, that keyed gated area. But right off here, there's a little nook. And there's a secret area back here that's going to have some uh, drugs, some buff out, and it has the crafting table. So this is where we're going to do our scrapping. Um, I'm surprised I'm not over encumbered, but we'll keep going. Now, it is a science table that's in here, so if you wanted to, you could do your refining in here, but uh, we'll take it back to the camp, and then we're going to do some junk totals for it. There we go, I'm over encumbered. So if you want to pick up all the weapons, and if you want to make that sweet steel scrap from all these weapons that we're going to pick up, um, you're going to have to scrap it out here. There's just too much to pick up. So yeah, there's buff out. Again, buff out isn't craftable, so it's great to pick it up. Um, a key component in psycho buff. There's typically two there. There's normally three around here somewhere. Maybe I'm just thinking that the... But there's an ammo crate. So day tripper over there. That's a random aid item. It's always the same. Buff tats. That's what I was thinking about. Uh, we're just about to do some scrapping. So we'll grab all that. So there's a syringe plus buff out equals fun. And I don't know if that's you stick it in a Brahmin and it equals fun or you stick it. I'm confused about this, but yes. Um, it is fun. Okay, syringe. So, we'll grab the ritual mask and we will put on the scrapper perk. Make sure I don't scrap any of my own stuff. Oh, nope, scrap that. Probably shouldn't have had super duper on this entire time. Put the uh, ricochet because serendipity doesn't work in power armor. And power patcher. Oh, there's that other buff out. I know there, there was another one there. Alright, so we're going to head back to the main chamber. We're going to head back to the main chamber. Punji board there, or crystal. Uh, yeah, so now we're gonna go oh, wrong way, main chamber. So now we're gonna go up here. There was a door right at the beginning that I said we're not gonna go through because it's a shortcut. You can actually, again, if you have the key for it, you can come through here and it takes you right over here to this to this main chamber so you can get there quite quickly again if you need to or leave fast so 
we're gonna go this is the last pathway that we go through so I like finding that main chamber yeah we've already been through here this is the uh, the water pool with the lead okay that's it so that's we're total on 20 minutes on the video so far so it's not too bad let's pop over here to the camp We'll do a refine, and because we dumped all of our ore in our scrap before, we can get a total of what we what we got from that. Uh -oh. So let's hop out of the power armor. Pop on super duper once again. So that last little spot net us 250 um, 250 uh, lead only. Ooh. Where's my hat? Don't tell me I scrapped it. Okay, I might have scrapped my hat. That's fine. One sec here. It's always good to keep a spare on you for, you know, emergencies. That's better. Okay, so we're going to craft. Uh, where are we here? Drugs. Smelting. Oh, smelting. So again, crystal, I didn't pick up a lot of crystal. I'm not going to refine it because we have to use three crystal and four acid to get two crystal scrap or crystal shards. Um, it's crystal cells for about three caps a piece and acid cells for about eight. So we're not going to spend, you know, 24 caps to get ourselves six. It doesn't make sense. Lead is worth it. So one acid and two lead ore. Um, very good for five lead in return. So again, lead selling for... Uh, 3.25 a piece was it? 3.25 times 5. So each craft is worth 16 and again we're spending roughly an 8 cap uh, acid on it. So each craft is worth about 8 uh, eight caps. Now that's going to be multiplied with super duper. Yes I equipped super duper. Sorry. Making sure I equip super duper before I do 216 of those. So, if our numbers are right, we did pick up some other scrap. We should uh, be getting quite a good return. But so I was going to calculate the difference, but we're just going to do it and look at it. Or calculate the, the return. So, for this run, we got 25 bone shards from those hanging things. Bone shards don't sell for much, but, you know, it's there. And a few other miscellaneous scrap items from the enemies. Lead scrap, we got 1,408. So that's a quite a good value. And again, at the rate of, um, again, 3.25 a piece times 1,408 um, is two th or 4,576. Now, we did use, what, 260 acid as well. So... Let's say approximately 260 times 8-ish. So we made about 2,500 caps worth of profit on that. Because again, we did spend uh, acid doing that. But 1,400 is a very good number if you're doing ammo crafting. Molded plastic, 12. Again, that's mostly from that. But by picking up and scrapping the weapons, we did get 291 steel. And again, steel. 30 caps sells for... Or 30 steel sells for 20 caps. So... That's uh, 30, 30 divided by 20, 20 divided by 30, that's how that works, 0.66 each times 291, so it ends up being an extra 200 caps worth of uh, worth of materials. Anyways, uh, those are the two places uh, I like to get lead from. Again, if I want to spend a bit more time, you can clear out that mine. But again, on a daily basis, uh, you can pop in power armor, go to that first site I showed you, and then within minutes, get uh, enough lead to do your crafts or to put up on your store. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. If you have any comments or suggestions, please post them below. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.